These films look at two schools which are transforming the way they teach. Both are moving away from formal learning towards structured play. But the two heads have very different perspectives. We've asked them to visit each other's schools and share experiences. Dufferin Infants in Newport, South Wales, is in one of the most socially deprived parts of Britain. It's piloting the new Welsh foundation phase. By 2008, every primary school in the country will have scrapped Key Stage 1. The key word is play, because play is a way that children learn through an active way. They experiment, they find out, they make connections, they find out for themselves. If children learn to do things by themselves, they, can re they retain 80% of what they do. If they are told something, they retain 10%. That's the first size that I want you to collect for me. If you can find some, you're going to have to be really good at searching for these because they're very small. And then hold up your little finger for me. We need some sticks that are about the same size as your little fingers, OK? The school's right. lucky. It has its own small piece of woodland. A key aspect of the new approach is more outdoor activities, regardless of the weather. This is your... Elbow. And these are your fingers. Right, OK. We go out when it's raining, when it's snowing, because this is an outdoor classroom which is equally as important as an indoor classroom. It has a sky instead of ceiling, it has uh, trees instead of walls, and it has locks instead of chairs. Welcome. Hi. Oh, the foundation phase has seven key areas of learning, including personal and social development, language literacy and communication skills, physical and creative development, and knowledge and understanding of the world. No, we won't rip them from the tree. No, you mustn't take them from the tree, because if you take them from the tree, you'll harm the tree. And so you've got to pick things up that are already on the floor. The new approach will include all three to seven-year-olds. It's been piloted over three years, starting with reception. The scheme has the full backing of the Welsh Assembly and a big increase in resources, but the extra staffing may not continue beyond the pilot. Look at him. He's broke his wing. A piece broke his wing, then yeah. What are you doing here? Where's him? He's trying to fly. He's a bee. So he's not doing me any harm, look, because I'm being very gentle. He's, he's not doing me any harm. Can you see his wings really whizzing very fast? He's trying to fly. They are taught skills, not subjects. And to be able to give them a solid skill basis is the best foundation for them to go on to formal learning. They will read and write. St Martin's Garden Primary in Bath has its own more modest plans to change the emphasis of its early years teaching. But head teacher Phil Pope is in difficult territory and he's worried about the impact on results. Play has less of a role than we would like it to have, and we are looking at, at um, widening the role of play uh, where there is a need to as high as Key Stage 2 and, and Years 3 and 4, because we have identified there are some children with um, needs of play that don't seem to have been satisfied for whatever reason. So we would like to broaden it, but there are quite severe limitations placed on us by, still by the national curriculum. Year six, that's results, um, and how we achieve there, because that's how we're judged. Pull out two numbers from the bag, like Sam has, and make a two-digit number, and then write those on the The staff line. share Phil's concerns, even though the changes in Bath will only affect year one. From next term, there'll be less formal learning and a greater emphasis on play. I think there are children who are losing out 
through the way you're teaching at the moment? Yeah, I think there are some children that don't access the curriculum the way that it's taught at the moment. There are some children that are not natural, that sit and dine, writing, reading, doing maths, that you're asking the sort of maths that you're asking them to do. Some children, some children do like it. I don't think we need to phase it out altogether. But more, the majority of children prefer to learn through play, I think, than sitting down doing a worksheet. So is there any pressure on you because of the academic results? Yeah, I think there is. I mean, that's one of the main things that I'm worried about of learning through play. If we just say, OK, we totally abandon everything and go completely child-directed play, I don't think we'll meet the standards that the National Curriculum is asking us to meet at the times that they're asking us to meet them. I mean, there's, for instance, there's 110 words that Year 1 and 2 have to know, and I don't think they'll know that from just child-directed play. What number were you hey, hello. Phil Pope. The teachers hope that Sean's visit will reassure them. Come on down, we'll walk down this way. Um, under a slight history of the school, we were amalgamated. It was two separate oh, schools, oh, really? infant so and how, junior. How long ago was that? Four years. So in, this was always the infant part of the school. And the site is, is a huge benefit because a number of our children live in flats. Um, and we do actually serve quite a poor area. Of the city, we have What's your first school means? Forty percent, thirty-eight percent. The new approach is building on the experiences of reception. From here, um, we've they've, done they've some worked messages, on mm -hmm. mind mapping. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, can we swap some children that have been pirates for anybody could come and do some uh, stories here uh, with the fish? The reception teachers already encourage as much child-initiated learning as possible. Just like in Wales, this term's pirate play-based activity has plenty of learning potential. Can we take your pirate hat? And Rosie and Jim, because Rosie and Jim have been kidnapped, haven't they? Been? What sort of pirate are you then, Smalls? Captain Beers. Mm. And are you a good pirate or a bad pirate? A bad pirate. What are you going to do that's bad? Steal the treasure. Oh no, can I take a picture of you stealing the treasure? It was an idea that I initially thought the children would enjoy, so introduced it as what should we do? next and dropped hints with the children. I have tried working totally blind but um, children in our school tend not to have the language skills that they need to come up with ideas. Mostly their ideas were things to make which they enjoy doing the most and then we've sort of introduced other bits so writing element came in with the message in the bottle and that was their idea. We are right, go on then, Tommy, you start us yeah. off. It's really on the back, it's smooth. It's, does it feel smooth on the back? So, what does it feel like on the top? Uh, a bit hard. Okay, can we think of some new. I've been ahead for 20 years, and I've done lots and lots and lots of different initiatives, and this one is right. Mm. It looks at the child, it takes the child from where they are, it supports the child. It's not going back to the 60s by any stretch no, of the I mean, imagination. I think we have to avoid that, What we've we? done, the balance has just gone mm. from one place to another and this balance, this, the, the swing of the pendulum has come to um, to a place where it's sensible to be, yeah. as far as I'm you're concerned. Quite, I, you're quite right, because we've got the public image of it to consider, and we do always have to consider that. And the two aspects there is trying to avoid the word play too much, mm. or using I it think, too much. I think we shot ourselves in the foot when we called it yeah. play. If we called it experiential learning or, or activity led activity learning, led something learning, like that, we, we, yes, we, if we can use it. that sort of language. Mm. Um, and as well, I think we've got to get away from the image that it will be the 60s, 70s um, yeah. type approach where children and teachers just, just did anything, yeah. uh, which well, didn't work. And the first sense we're going to use What's that? is our touching, not looking, our touching sense. So you're sitting nicely. Lewis, would you like to come up? 
without looking, don't use your looking sense, don't use your listening, but put your hand over the top of the pot. Nina Denley teaches feel. reception. Next term, she'll move up with them to year one. She's keen to follow the Welsh awesome. example. I think it really fits in with the children in, in this catchment area. I think that they would really benefit from, you know, feeling um, more confident, having more self-esteem, you know, finding out things themselves, being discoverers and explorers. Phil knows his staff are keen on the changes, but he needs to be convinced that standards will not fall. If we go down the road of, of more activity-based learning or play-based learning, what impact will that have on the child's achievement? And I would like to think it will increase it. Mm. And in my heart of hearts, I know it mm. would long term, mm. but you have to live through the possibility of, of judging things and getting it right and the possibility of standards not yeah. rising yeah. according to science. You, you have to have the resources. Mm. If we don't have the resources within our school, then we can't do what we're setting out to do. The foundation phase needs to have the right adult support. Mm. Oh, Dear idea. Idea. Did you make that boat by yourself? What did you use for it? So what's Rock, this uh, underneath? Go wash your hands. Because you get it on your yes. dress otherwise. Oh, you? That's really clever. What did you put in there? It's the carpet. Some carpet. And it, what material? What's this? Do you think? Is it a, oh, so plastic's really good for floating. Then I must remember that if I want to know. We're really right. looking at speaking right. and listening right. rather so than reading and writing, so and we're looking at a structured approach of speaking and listening from nursery, taking going into reception. We do have planning, but we we're. There's more flexibility, and, and we're, we do a lot more group work, and we have a lot more fun than we used to. It's, <laughs> it's like you know, to have fun. Though, yes, it's been, it? yes, it's, yeah. it's, and we give time. <laughs> it's less we're going to take risks as well. You have with to, the rope. yes, yes, yes. Should we, we let have, them play with we the have, rope? We have to dangerous. allow. We have to allow our children to take risks because they can't be uh, they can't be wrapped up in, in uh, bubble wrap. Can they? The significant difference I think that we have uh, from you is the, the year six yeah. sets, the publication and the league tables. Lots of people are concerned that the children are just going to play and yeah. not, not going to, to learn to read and write, and that actually is so wrong. Yeah. Our children are achieving at the end of the first year in the foundation phase in reading and writing and maths, as well as lo uh, last year, if not better. Oh, what's that? In part yeah, two, tiny. Phil goes to Wales to see the new approach for himself. Could be red. Could be red. Oh, do they?